Alright. Uh, as always, everything's breaking. I think it's this freaking place of the state. I don't know, it's a horrible place. Um, this car, still working, surprisingly. Uh, yeah, well, power steering's working, so. All the other crap's broken on it. Our old wagon today, or the other day, uh, had a leaky, I don't know if you can even see that, eh, kind of. The overflow vent right there was leaking, so I, uh, got a little torch, soldered it on. Doesn't seem to be leaking anymore. And then now I took that out. It's my uh, inner fender over here is all rusted again. Because why? It's from Florida. The, all the water, when it used to rain, when this car sat outside, used to just sit right here. I took the battery tray out. It was still wet. So all that stuff just sit underneath there for how many? about two years now since this car was brought here and it really fell apart. Um, after it was brought to Florida, like most cars. Um, yep, so it started rusting. So I rust converted this, it's kind of turning black, that's good. Well first I wire wheeled it, as you see it had a little hole starting over there, so this whole area is just about toast. But for now it will work, until I patch it or whatever, I'll probably never get around to that, but yep. So I use some rust converter, first wire wheel it and rust convert it, do a little of that action with the wire brush. And maybe it'll hold up. Yep. Oh, that's my headlight harness so I can run the uh, bird ropes. Pretty cool. Got it in that car too. Yep. So that's done, that's done. Still ain't getting new coolant for this thing. This thing leaks oil like a pig too from the uh, oil pan. It's another job. You gotta lift up the whole engine, take the mounts out, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that here. I don't even care. No room. The truck's falling apart too. Brakes are sticking. Yep, old cars. They don't move issues so try to get that video I hope it will go in before this about that power steering pump how I put back together because my computer's breaking and it won't let me make a movie I don't know wash the front only clean wheels Woo. let me shut this off I can't paint this thing until probably tomorrow because I tried to and it started bubbling up this Eastwood rust converter stuff almost out of it it that's your problem. It needs to set up for like 48 hours and I kind of pushed it and it wasn't dry and then your top coat bubbles so I yeah yeah crazy 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 so hopefully we'll get that done so if your radiator breaks solder it back together don't get a new one alright back again I think I was complaining about shit in the other video my, my T-Rook that's one problem done that's just a uh, loose front break Break, uh, what is it, pad? Little clips on there are loose. Because I took those out when I was cutting the rotors one time. So I'll dress that maybe tomorrow or the next day. Maybe tomorrow, if I can get this damn paint to dry. It's still wet. See, it's turning a nice black color though. This is all rust. And even over there. This stuff works nice. Rust converter. Mess. Um, yeah, I don't. Maybe my other video. I had a little glimpse of what that tray looks like in this car <laughs> compared to this thing. It's a uh, big difference. Yeah, saw a white one of this car today. Same thing, 92 Custom Cruiser. But it was in fantastic condition. Nothing like this thing, but... Yeah, what did I do? Um, yeah, I put the battery in just for a second. I cranked it up, so I put my coolant in. And I don't see any leaks around here. See the glob right there? Yep. My dad did a good job on that. Soldering on. He said, I'll do it. Let's jump right in. I go, go for it. You do it. Yep. I'll do that. You hear the noises. There's still a lot of air in here because I didn't get the car hot enough. It was just sitting in here. I'm not driving around with a loose battery like a lot of people do in Florida. But, put pressure on it. It still seems like it's dry. See, it's a little wet right there, but that's those residual stuff. That thing was leaking for years. So, maybe it's bump. I placed that in this car, too. I don't know if I made a video of that. No, I didn't make a video. That was years ago. It's late. I'm getting tired. So, still waiting for stuff to dry. If I was fancy, I could cover that up with a little body filler, too, so you hide the pits. 
I'd cover up that hole too, but <laughs> not going nuts. I think my movie maker is finally working, so I should have that video finishing up that pump on pretty soon. Well, soon. So, that's it. Oh, yeah. One more quick thing. I don't know if I made a video of that on this thing, but add it anyway. Again, I undercoated the tray on this. This one I actually sandblasted, though, because it's very, very rusty. I stripped it all down, painted it, primed it. Came out very nice. Still holding up well, and I probably did this about two years ago. It's probably been there a winter on this car, too, because I think this thing was still in the salt country then. But, yep. Works nice. I even cleaned up that clip. The bolt is still rusted now, but what are you going to do? It's good. Undercoat your tray after cleaning it. It's very, very cool.